Um, I was doing a quest, um, fishing type quest for, like, Matt Tangle and stuff that I picked up in Ogremar from the, the fishing dude. I figured I'd do it for fun. And, um, while I was exploring areas, you know, from fishing, I was like, you know what? I'm super close to my, um, Explore Eastern Kingdoms title, so I went ahead and, and just went for it. Um, I went around to all the Alliance areas and basically maxed those out flying everywhere, and I got, like, real scared because I flew across both Stormwind and Ironforge, and I was so scared, and it's Brewfest, so there's a lot of people around Ironforge. Like, a lot. Um, you know, I, like, I was kind of making fun of myself, like, the entire time that I'm flying over the stuff, I'm going, sorry, 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 sorry. And, you know, I'm just imagining Alliance people going, do you hear that constant sorry? Is there a Canadian around here? No, no, it's just a very polite blood elf flying above us with their head down going, sorry. Because, <laughs> like, I was just so scared. I don't want to get shot down. I don't want to fight anybody. I just want my explorer title. That's all. Just my explorer title. Well, I'm going to be able to get it for Eastern Kingdoms. I'm not entirely done with Kalimdor because I have a hard time questing there. It's really boring to me. But I've been questing there a lot on Stalia, so... Uh... Yeah. I just figured that I'd, I'd just, I'd go for it, so. Um, apparently the only place I have left now is Kaldanas, which I've never been to. So, once I explore there, I will have my title. And I'm pretty excited about that, so I figured I would record it. So we're flying to Kaldanas now, as you can see. And I kissed the cat, that's what that noise was. Because he's, like, crawling all over me, because it's, like, 5 in the morning and he really want to touch him, even he's just in bed. I don't, I don't know what he's expecting from me. All these expectations. And I didn't know that you could just fly to it from the flight point, which is silly, because I'm pretty sure I, whenever it became available for me to go there, like, I knew, but... I don't know. It's silly that I played a freaking Blood Elf and didn't know where Kaldanas was. <clears throat> it's okay. Oh, all of this is like working for save stuff, so I think that I, I read that in the wiki. Alright. I wonder if you can fly on this island. That would make life so much easier. If you can't, then I guess I'm walking everywhere and getting attacked by things that are much slower than me. I don't know. I just want to get my floor title. That's all. Oh! All I had to do was land to get it. That's awkward, right? All I had to do was be on Kaldanas. That's... That's interesting. But, uh... Okay, cool. So you got to help me experience that. Um... While I'm here, alright, I definitely have to walk. Alright, so let's pick something... That'll work. It makes me so good I can fly. I wanna look around. So... Well, I'm looking around. Let's, uh... Let's talk. So, I've been on my break for two weeks from YouTube, and I have had a lot of time to think about what I want to do as far as my channel goes. And where the direction I want to take it, because I definitely want to take it, um in a different direction than there's a engineering than what I have right now. I enjoy doing vlogs and I enjoy the top fives a whole lot, but sometimes they feel forced and sometimes I don't really have a ton of ideas for this type of stuff, you know? Having my Patreon uh patrons come up with top five ideas is going to make, you know, it a heck of a lot easier, but in the end, I feel like it doesn't always catch you guys' attention, neither do the vlogs unless they're about something very focused, because usually whenever I do the vlogs, like, I used to um, be able to just talk, and I would come up with things to say, but now I get all, like, confused, and 
feeling like everything I'm saying is boring, so I just don't really um, make a decent vlog anymore, unless it's, you know, like I said, focused. So, I'm pretty much going to stop doing vlogs a ton, unless I have some really important stuff to say, or at least it's on a concentrated subject. And if I do do vlogs, they'll most likely be like this, where I'm um, in the game, wandering around to you while I'm talking that way, instead of just staring at me, you have, like, you know, stuff to look at while I'm just kind of doing whatever, which appears pretty soon I'm going to end up being stuck in a stupid spot, because, oh, nope, 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 there we go. So, yeah. Basically, I'm going to be uploading every three days instead of every two days, because it seemed like a lot of people that were watching my channel were overwhelmed by the amount of stuff I was putting up. So, instead of every two days, it's going to be every three days. So, that's basically the type of schedule I'm going to go on. Just every three days I'm going to post something. It's not going to be, this goes up this week, this goes up this week, this goes up this week type thing. It's going to be, every three days I post something. And if we're doing it in terms of what would be put up in a week, I'd like to see two gameplays go up and one other thing. That other thing can include either a vlog or a top five or um, the newest thing that I really, really want to do is I am an artist and I don't really incorporate that into my YouTube channel a whole lot and I feel kind of bad that I don't. So at least once a month, maybe every two weeks, I will be posting something artsy, whether it's a slideshow of the current art that I've made, or whether it's, like, a speed-up of me sketching something, or, you know, something along those lines. It's going to be some kind of art-related thing, because I really just want to be able to include that more, and have people see, you know, another side of me, just like I've done, like, cosplay tutorials and stuff. I want to be able to show my artsy side, because originally that's what I was going to do for a living. I was going to do art things. So now, that's just kind of like a side thing now, so... What else? Hmm. Oh yes, I know. Um, another thing that me and my friends are talking about doing is Machinima. Wow Machinima. We have a couple of stories that are based around all of our characters, and we really want to make like skits and stuff based on those stories and a lot of them are, are going to be funny but some of them are going to be serious and they're also going to deal with canon characters in story like Bane or um, some of the tellers over in Pandaria or um, Malfurion, you know, things like that. But again, you know, these are just our stories, they're not canon and you know, we're not trying to be like self insertive or, you know, god modding or anything. We're just making the story that we see interesting. So, yeah. You should expect those probably, I don't know, in a couple of months probably because we have a lot of writing to do for them first. Um, I know the first one I'm putting up is going to be for a friend. It's going to be with his um, Shadow Priest because he's got kind of like this evil Shadow Priest that he's doing things with and he's got like a really funny dialogue that he wants to do with the Shadow Priest, so I'm going to be working on that. Oh, something hit me. So that's where my YouTube channel is going. Um, my break will be over this Sunday and that's probably when this will go up, but it's being, this is being recorded on uh, Wednesday morning. But that's the channel. Um, that's what's going to be happening with it. Um, if you don't like a lot of WoW related things, you don't like a lot of video game related things, um, probably not going to enjoy the channel from here on in. Because, yeah, I'm, I love the game, and I'm going to start actually doing something about it. You know, it doesn't mean that there won't be, like, hair updates, or hair tutorials, or cosplay tutorials, or cosplay updates, or you know, anime related things as well. Those those will be there. It's just that it's going to be more focused on gaming and stuff like, you know, what you're seeing now. 
I hope that's not too much trouble for y'all. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I have. And, uh, anything else is just going to be me rambling or repeating myself. So, I am going to find a safe place to land this thing. And I'm going to go, and I just hope that you all have a great day. And I hope that, you know, that you'll watch my videos. And if you end up liking my videos, maybe you'll participate in my Patreon. It'll be linked as everything is, you know, the info below. You won't miss it or anything. There's a lot of enemies around. Okay, but we're coming towards the here again, so. What's up? So, I had to re-record over the audio for this because it was atrocious because XSplit never, ever freaking makes my audio right. It's always off by a couple of seconds, no matter how much I try to edit it. So, I figured I would just talk over my footage. So, what's happening here is this is Stalia. She's my Drenai, Proto Pally. And, um, she is getting ready to get the Explorer title for Kalimdor. I missed one little spot on Blood Mist Isle, and I felt really dumb, because I was just telling you guys how I probably had more to do on Kalimdor than I did on Eastern Kingdoms, and that was absolute bullshit. That was not true. Um, because I have been questing with her for the past probably like two weeks, I had to re-roll her because originally she was a warrior, and I'm terrible at warrior, so I had to re-roll her from the beginning as a proto-pally, and now she's going to be my alliance character for you know, who I'm going to max out. I wanted to have one on each side, even though I prefer Horde, but basically, yeah, what's happening in this footage right now is that she is wandering around, or I'm wandering around, looking for this tiny little encampment, which, you know, is really hard to find on the map, and that you never really have a need to go to. So, that's, um, basically what's happening with that. I now have both Explore Kalimdor and Explore Eastern, Eastern Kingdom's title, and I am done with those sections. I'm really close to having Outland done, but I'm not quite there. But, yeah. She's currently also riding my Shadow Pan mount because, unfortunately, it seems to be this way with both sides, but um, I get harassed by a lot of undead players, and I've been PvP killed, like they got me flagged by diving into like my AoEs, and then they would just kill me constantly. And these are level 90s, and they were, you know, they constantly pick on me. So I have to have my Shadow Pan mount out to show them that, hey, I have a max level character, and you need to leave me the hell alone. And the worst part is that my max level character is on the Horde, and I get treated terrible by Horde people. However, though, on the flip side, um, Whenever I'm doing my Horde character, I almost always get treated bad by normally Gnomes or Drenai. So that sucks. And Drenai has a really bad reputation for being the trolley race on Alliance. And that sucks because, what the hell, they're such a nice people and they're so pretty. And I really wanted a Drenai, so that's why she's my main over here. I'm also going to um, drop my level uh, 90 boost on, on my Warg and Rogue. But I'm going to get her up to 60 so that her professions are maxed. Um, so, that's a thing. I'm just kind of rambling, trying to wait for this footage to be up. But, good thing is, is that I find it soon. And I make the joke that it doesn't exist. But, it does. It's just a tiny little encampment on the map. Yep, see, there it is. It's right there. Alright, cool. So, that's Explore Kalimdor. This tiny little encampment here that, um really didn't have any need for anything. I'm assuming it's connected to the people who I had to rescue from the spider stuff earlier in this um, quest line. But, okay. Well, that's all. That's all I have, so hope you guys have a good day, and thanks for watching all of this, and you're awesome. Alright. Well, <laughs> see you later.